Hey, we're doing another tactical pants review. This time we're looking at, I think these are Air Force, but correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think they're Navy. I got them from a surplus store about a mile north of the uh, Air Force base here. They're uh, surplus used, they were $10. Uh, these are the size large, I think size large regular, maybe size large long, I really forget. But uh, I really like them. Uh, I don't like the pattern so much, but the pants themselves are uh, lightweight. They're not super heavy like some of my others. Uh, they probably are the heaviest of my others. These are cotton, uh, so that I don't think they're warm weather or anything, and I don't know enough about them to know if they're different cuts for the different seasons. Um, but they have a better cargo pocket than the old BDUs. Uh, they're pinned up front, they got buttons as opposed to Velcro, and they still have that little, no, they don't have the little uh, elastic cord on these, uh, just buttons, so very much like the original ones actually. Uh, but the difference is there is an inside pocket in here. So inside there's a sub pocket, which fits my sunglasses perfectly. So whatever thing is about this size, if you have a narrow phone or something, that's gonna fit inside of this pocket, inside of this pocket. Uh, this one has that also. So you have it on both sides. You could put a pen in there or like a pad of paper would work, I think. And uh, that's the side pockets. Then you've got these ankle pockets. These are buttons also. Some of them are Velcro on different types. And uh, since these are Air Force ones, they put a place for a pen right here on both sides. And I think that's pretty handy too. And you can see here in the van, that would really be the perfect spot for something. So I could put my sunglasses in that easily, uh, or my phone, I suppose, and have it right here accessible and still have it, you know, tethered to me basically. Uh, there's no ties around the legs so our old BDUs had a tie here and I think the, the army ones have that nothing here uh, their cut is okay sometimes they can be a little tight I have a pair of medium uh, the military gray ones whatever those were the D digital camo and they are so tight around my boots that every time I move it looks like I bloused them or something these are a little bit bigger cut so they come down over my boots a little better even when they ride up they fall back down pretty well uh, they're pretty new, even though they're only 10 bucks. You can tell they're not really worn out, but they're beat, they're worn in. So I'm a big fan. They have a, a drawstring at the top, like a pair of pajamas. No, wait, they don't. Got to remember which pair I'm wearing. Pretty bad review. These don't have the drawstring, which I think is a disadvantage. Now that I've had the drawstring on the the, the army ones, I really like them. Uh, and then a button fly. So that's what you expect on a pair of BDUs. So I would say I'm giving these, these are almost my second favorites at this point. Again, I'm not a fan of the pattern, but the rest of the pant is pretty decent. And the pattern you can get used to, I guess. So this is, I believe, the Air Force BDUs, uh, 10 bucks. And I'm totally impressed. I will probably buy more of them when these wear out. So that's a uh, tactical pants review. Stay tuned for more. And as always, uh, leave us some comments and thanks for watching.